I am Anil Kumar sharing with you test questions from a paper of my student and I hope these questions will help you to prepare for the test. We will discuss question number 2 now in details. You can pause the video, copy the question and then check with my solution. Right? So the question number 2 here is given the vectors OD 1 minus 1 3 and points A which is equals to minus 3 1 7 so this is kind of like this and points B which is 2 6 minus 5 what is scalar projection of AB on OD vector projection of AB on OD and angle between AB and Z axis okay now I hope you remember what is scalar projection and what is vector projection right so basically if you have uh, two vectors let's say this is one vector the other one is kind of like this then scalar projection is projection of this vector like this so this length from here to here gives you the scalar projection now if you only consider the length and not the direction it becomes scalar projection but if you multiply by the unit vector in the direction in this case it is OD here right then it becomes vector projection correct so that is scalar and vector projection you can easily find scalar projection by using the formula AB dot OD right so that is their dot product so AB cos theta you know if this is angle theta then AB cos theta is your scalar projection so if you divide this by the magnitude of OD then you get scalar projection so that is the formula you can always apply but before that you need to find what AB is right so AB will be equal to so A position vector is given to you for A and B so do 2 minus minus 3 so it gets you will get 5 here 6 minus 1 is 5 again and then minus 5 minus 7 will be minus 12 right so we get vector AB as uh, 5 5 minus 12 OD is given to you you can find the dot product divide by the the magnitude of OD and get the scalar projection correct to find the vector uh, projection we need to multiply this by the unit vector in the direction of OD right so so the vector projection formula will be AB dot OD right so when you multiply by unit vector this gets squared correct so it becomes magnitude of OD square times the vector OD itself correct so that becomes the vector projection correct you can always replace these and find your answer now we need to find angle between AB and Z axis now Z axis you can consider a unit vector along the Z axis or any vector along Z axis let us say along Z axis we could take X component will be 0 Y component will also be 0 let's take 1 as a component along the Z axis so now we can find the angle between AB and Z axis we can use the dot product to find the answer so we know cos theta is equal to dot product of AB dot product of AB with this uh, 0 0 1 divided by the magnitude of these two right so the magnitude of AB times the magnitude of this vector let me write this as uh, well square root of 1 correct 0 square plus 0 square plus 1 square square root so that is 1 correct now from here you can find what theta is so you can uh, find this answer so I hope that will help you to find the answer for the particular question thank you and all the best